welcome back to my channel I say this video is for those who have been body shamed by their husband by their man by their partner my dear feel comfortable with your skin feel comfortable with your body i know you have kids i know probably medical issues have made you lose um, you know you have some part of your body you don't like maybe you've added weight don't let that put you down. The way you carry yourself, that is the way your man will see you. I don't like exercising. I don't like, um, you know, doing all the exercises. But I love food. So I, I like to, um, I like to um, play lawn tennis, swim, and skate. But I hardly do it. So the one I can do easily. I'm doing it now, which is when I hear good music, I just start dancing. I've eaten, you know, an hour after I ate, I did a one hour dancing. You can see eh, this thing that eh, it works because after one hour, my tummy hurts. I know it has worked. No matter what, you have to keep up the game. All these side chicks, this is what they are doing. So bring the side chick to your, into your home. That's what I mean. When you feel sexy, when you dance, to work in front of your man. People keep asking me, why do I talk about women? Because we are the receiving end. A woman keeps the home while the man um, keeps the marriage, makes the marriage work. So you have to do what you have to do so that all these side chick will not, will not uh, gain anything. And besides... Um, all these young girls, they keep ch chasing. This is what they do in front of the man. So you do it yourself. You know what I mean? In this video, I'm here to talk about you phobing your man. It's not okay. You have to, with the social media and all that, if you're not making money out of it, don't distract yourself with uh, uh, social media. At the same time, even your kids as well, because they can, it can also affect your kids. When you fob them, when you kind of ignore them, they can feel it and it will affect them in the future. <laughs> I hope someone will learn something from this video. Please subscribe, share, and so comment. Still on the distractions, women, please, it's very disrespectful when you're with your husband or your man and you're just feeding through the phone. Also, the man as well, it is not okay. Why would you do that? Women, it's a sign of disrespect, to be honest. Uh, a man knelt down and proposed to you. That shows that he values you and he respects you. So that's what you have to hold on to. Keep um, giving the attention without going on your phone. Give him all the attention that he deserves. Same as men as well. Again, I want to talk about the social platform. It's very addictive. Do not spend more than four hours checking on it. If you're not any money, it's even as me, even I as well, I had to dis discipline myself. You know what I mean? Four hours is enough to do. A lion does not turn around when a small dog barks. Ladies, why don't you let this sad chick come into your home? What I mean here is act like a babe when he first met you. Always try to put that on. It's not easy after having kids, I know, you know, but you've got to try. You've got to put on your A game in all ramification. You know, always look sexy. Try to minimize stress, to, to not to give your husband stress, you know, because the side chicks, they don't give stress at all. That because there's nothing to really, you know, talk about. But what I mean here is, in as much as you have kids, you've got to plan your marriage. Why did you get married? For companionship, right? So you've got to um, have that self-development to help him in all ramification, being sexy, um, bring ideas to pop up his business career.